Am I scary? But all you have to do is just copy and paste this whole entire prompt in. ChatGPT will guide you and give you some amazing prompts. Wait until you see this. I have a feeling that this new free pick update is gonna be just the start of an AI explosion of creativity. So what's it about, Eric? Great question. Free pick just released styles, allowing you to effortlessly add a specific creative style to your images in just one click of a button. And he made an awesome prompt generator. And of course, whenever we get a brand new update, just like this one, I had to give all of you an amazing prompt generator just to use specifically for this new update. It's going to take advantage of some of these new styles to really add some 10x creativity to any of your prompts. All you have to do is just provide ChatGPT or any LLM with just one simple keyword. And just like that, you're going to get 10 prompts for 10 unique styles. And then at the very end, a unique 10x multiplier to really take your prompts to the next level. Click the links in the description. Okay, so here we are over here in free pick. Now, the first thing I'll do, let's go simply to create. And now right off the bat, you could see some of my most recent creations I used with this prompt generator I'm sharing with you today and with these new styles, okay? So here is a quick preview. The first row is gonna be sparkling. The second row and the third row are gonna be more of a dark style, very unique and cool styles. Now, there is one thing to keep in mind, Utilizing styles in free pick can only be utilized within Flux or Mystic. So now back to free pick and you can simply find style over here on the left-hand side. Now this isn't really new because with other models in free pick, you were able to choose styles in the past. However, now things have been definitely taken up a notch. Now look at all of these amazing options. However, if I do select Flux 1.1 Pro and I select style, you'll see they're all gonna be opened right here. And it makes you think that you can use it here. However, if I do come over here and then select one of these new ones, let's just say for an example, product photography, okay? If I go ahead and then turn that on, look in the top right hand corner, okay? Only available in flux or mystic mode, switching the flux mode. And now over here on the left hand side, it automatically changed my mode from 1.1 Pro to just regular flux. No big deal because it's gonna do a great job. Now, look at this right here. Let's go back to styles and let's just take a look at some of these amazing ones right here, okay? So some of these you've already seen before for example photo that's been there but as we scroll down look at all of these amazing other styles that we have now there are going to be some very helpful ones specific to your creations look at this put your subject in podiums playing with 3d atmospheres okay that's a cool one we also have textured animals plushy worlds sparkling some very good and unique ones so now we really have some detailed and specific styles that we can use for very specific images now before I go ahead and then test out some of these styles with you, let's head over to ChatGPT and test out this brand new prompt generator. So here we are right now, and I used this earlier today. Here is the long prompt generator. It's pretty long, but all you have to do is just copy and paste this whole entire prompt in, and then just like that, ChatGPT will guide you and give you some amazing prompts. I'm gonna give it to all of you completely for free via the links in the description. The first place I'll have it is over here on my website. If you go to my website and then you go to blog, I have thousands of prompts all scattered throughout all of my blog posts. So I'll put this prompt over here in this blog post right here that says free pick mystic. Okay. And then the other location I'll include this prompt generator is going to be over here in my mega prompts database. Now, right now I am in the AI art prompts. I will also add it in the prompt generator category over here. And I'll also add it in this free pick tab right here. I'll also include it in my brand new free mini prompts database. And this is actually built in notion. Once you expand it. I'll also add them in the AI images one right here. So like I said, copy and paste the whole entire prompt. Okay. And then once you do, like I did right here, it's just going to ask you what subject would you like me to generate prompts for? Since it's the Halloween season, I just said a scary Halloween character. And then just like that, look, 10 immediate prompts. And then as I scroll down, we get 10 specific subjects for free pick. Now here is my favorite question. Would you like me to 10 X any of these prompts? and make them even more vivid or detailed. I said number three, please, which as I scroll up is gonna be this film effects one. And now just like that, it is going to take my number three prompt, which is only gonna be one paragraph. And now it's gonna add it and make it even more detailed in the form of three paragraphs right here. But now let's start from scratch and now test out some of these prompts in free pick. Okay, so here we are. My prompt has already been copied and now here it is right here. It's a very long prompt. You don't have to do anything yet. 
Just hit submit and now watch this. Yes, I understand. Please go ahead and provide me with your subject and I'll generate 10 highly detailed prompts for each style you listed. Let's see what it can do when I just say a creative Halloween character. And now just like that, you could see it getting to work. It starts with number one and it's going to continue the process until it gives me 10 highly detailed prompts. Then once it creates those 10 prompts, go ahead and now copy and paste your favorite one, try them out in free pick, then come back to ChatGPT and now tell it, I like this one the best and let ChatGPT 10 X it and make it even better. So we'll do just that. Let's go ahead and look at the ones that gave us. Okay. Pretty good. I have all 10 right here. It's finishing up with the lifestyle one. Okay. Let's scroll back up to the top and let's first try it with this dark light dreamscape one. And now I'm simply going to paste the whole entire thing it just gave us. Now I'm in style. Let's go ahead and open style up and let's change it. Right now we are in product photography. Let's X that out. And this time, I think this prompt would either work well with dark. However, this is specifically for dark light dreamscape, which is this one right here, muted tones and glowing highlights. All right, let's select that one. And now on the left-hand side, you can see it's selected. You could also with this toggle bar, adjust the strength. It defaults to 100. So what I'll do now is I'll copy and paste a few of these, test them out in free pick. Then when I discover one that I like the best, then we're gonna tell ChatGPT, make this specific one even better. And I have to tell you, these are very impressive. So right off the bat, let's come over here and now start with the very first row. Look at this first row right here. Look how amazing these images look. Well, a little bit spooky. But nonetheless, very realistic and very cool. Now, if I exit out of these right here, we could see what setting I used for each one. So for an example, this one right here, I just used dark mode, okay? Just dark by itself. But now if I come over to this one, this one is pretty unique because I used the dark light dreamscapes one. And now look at that one. That is pretty impressive. Remember that is the prompt I got over here in chat GPT, okay? The very first option, dark light dreamscape and over here in free pick, it did it perfectly. Let's look at a few more of these before we then say 10X this one. Now this row right here is perfect. This is gonna be with the lifestyle option and it does just that. It basically said via the prompt, just a generic photo of people casually trick or treating in the neighborhood. And then we have this one right here. This row is gonna be glitch. That is pretty amazing. And then right here, we're gonna have this one, the iridescent dream, awesome as well. Pretty amazing. This looks fantastic. This image looks entirely Entirely realistic. I love the way that turned out. And now we're going to veer away from the spooky and now get to more cute. And this is going to be with the squishy 3D. These look amazing. Very happy Pixar style. Definitely some cute 3D renderings. And then right here, this might be my favorite. This is going to be one of the first options. This is pretty cool. Look how amazing this looks for Halloween. Okay. So now what we're going to do next is look at some of these right here. And then we're going to tell ChatGPT the 10 X, one of these specifically. So let's do just that. Let's come back over here to chat GPT and you can see over here at the bottom, it gives us that question. Which of these prompts would you like to 10 X and make even better? Eric. Okay. Let's go ahead and do just that. Let's say number one, please. Okay. And that's all you have to do. I simply am typing in number one. It knows exactly what I mean. And look, it says, let's take this style and enhance it to an even more vivid, immersive level, adding layers of detail to make it truly mesmerizing. Again, let's try one more. Would you like any more from me to 10 X? Let's just try number six, low key cinematic. Okay. I'll just say again, same thing. Number six, that's all you have to do. It's immediately going to understand understand what I mean. And then there it goes. Low key cinematic, the 10 X version. While this one's thinking, let's go ahead and now copy this dark light one right here. The whole entire thing, copy this head back over here into free pick and now paste it in right here. Make sure our style is going to go back to the dark light dreamscape one. It is I'm using flux and let's go ahead and generate this one. But before we look at that, let's look at the most recent ones we got. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Here is the 10 X version. Wow. That's incredible. Very, very awesome and unique. Okay. Now let's come back to our last but not least one. This is going to be low key cinematic and look at this. That is ooh, both scary, but also low key cinematic. I love the way these turned out. Look how amazing that is with the lighting and that blurred background. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, but thank you so much for watching.